Yeah, you want to yeah. repeat that for all of us so we can show this to YouTube later? <laughs> Fine with that? Fine with that? Are we live? Yeah, oh no, we're live. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got done watching 2-0 Dr. Yeah. J Money versus Triple XL Strider. And we also and found, just and we also got and back from no. the bathroom. <laughs> Fondling your dick. And I was holding my dick. And I came back and I did not even recognize my casting partner's voice. Because I was still you in dick holding mode, and I'm sorry, <laughs> Mr. Nightmare. We've got Night Skank, Team Night Skank, casting these games. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are having a good time. I hope there are more ladies and gentlemen watching than I assume there are. What well, we've been but, asked uh, 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 actually the to calm down the silly the talk. clan is up. I th yeah. No, I think the entire team, uh, the entire clan is actually on the, um on right now so that's actually quite impressive um anyways uh we're doing a little pre-game show and um all right so this matchup what who do we have and what do we what do you think we're gonna see well uh, we have i think it's kingslayer versus j money so we have another tv is it zvz it's zvt oh okay. ZBT? that's gonna oh. be fantastic another i really I really like this matchup. I really think this is going to be good. I watched some Kingslayer games earlier. I watched some Doctor. I watched quite a few Doctor J M games earlier, and Doctor J is no joke. He is not a guy to be messed with. He will wreck you if you try to uh, roll into his base and show him what's up. I think that this is going to be a very interesting matchup, and I hope that. Uh, the rest of you agree that this goes the way I think it will. He does get uh, caught off guard with um, anything that's very early on, though, like with that early roach bust um, that Imperative did uh, during their second game, I believe. So he he and also he does um, he d does uh, quite com quite commonly get uh, uh, supply blocked. So there, those are two of the problems that I see with. Uh, money going into this game well let's look at dark slayer i mean he's been playing great so far i mean he just amazing with his plays and even if it is pretty basic but my question is going to be do you think that you know if we see another like reaper it's like another reaper rush is that going to affect anything um it's hard to say it depends on the the zerg player really um, obviously, if there's a lot of Zer if there's a lot of Zerglings on the field, there's not going to be as much of an effectiveness, especially if you can get a nice surround. Um, however, that being said, with uh, the case of Kingslayer, who we just saw a while ago, um, we just that was actually a really good opportunity for Reaper Rush, and that would actually have destroyed Kingslayer in the first game. So I think it's all I think the reaper rush is much more based on what the zerg is going for and that that is going to help it succeed another thing i would actually suggest is proxy bunkers um while you're doing your harass just throw it on a proxy bunker maybe at his natural maybe at his main somewhere so that the um the reapers can actually come go back in there and be able to regen their health um and then go back and harass again you know, I think uh, it's worth noting bunker placement. I think bunker placement is something that Dr. JM could do better, and this has been discussed during games. Uh, it's Outside of games. a little bit right now. Yeah, I, I think that he needs to place that bunker in a position where it can hit units on all sides. And what I mean by all sides is if you put a bunker at the bottom of your ramp behind it, uh, your extractor or whatever basically you need to be able to hit zerglings or roaches or anything that comes in and dr j hasn't done a very good job of that i think his bunker placement could be better if he moves his bunker a little bit south maybe on the other side of the, the ramp he should also um, have a flank that he should also have it, would um he should also like do if a lot more if you're... work than it has done yes it would but another thing too is you're on the high ground already with a bunker most of the time, um, or you have high ground close to it. So 
what I would suggest, especially against Zerg, who is very much swarm heavy, um, if you'll excuse the pun. Well, um, they have to be, right? Well, they for have the to swarm. be. So, Woo! yes, for the swarm. Uh, that's what I was getting at. But what I'm saying is when you have such a swarm based race, you want to um, kind of thin them out as quickly as possible. And to that uh, notion, I believe that if you actually had the best, the sickest setup that I would, I would suggest for a map like uh, Newkirk or something like that, is to actually have the bunker um, kind of be see You have your tank on the high ground that actually can see a little bit into the range, and that can actually help um, deal with the Baneling Rush, they can deal with the Zerg Rush, and I mean Roach Rush obviously that's going to be a little bit hard to do, but definitely against Ling and Bling, that would be a you good know, choice. That Honestly, Zerg, and I'm saying this as a Zerg player, uh, who is not terribly good, obviously got wiped out first round, and that's fine, but if that bunker had been a little farther south of that expansion, any time that bunker was placed, any time it was placed back on the other side of the ramp, if that bunker had been placed a little farther forward, I would have been extremely scared to move in. It would have been a very, very, very bad deal for me to run speed wings even in, because that bunker can hit me from both sides so i run past the bunker and it shoots me i run up towards the nat or excuse me the main and it shoots at me and i'm getting shot at by bunkers at the top i think that if that bunker had been placed a little bit farther out it would have been a real real oh big and rush another, changer. Another, another thing too is with um with j money's style it's that he doesn't do uh, wall offs at the natural like you have your bunker and that's it but um, what from what I've seen based on um, Korean players and uh, MLG players is it's actually wiser to wall it off with your supply depots don't spend extra money getting supply depots that you don't need rather build your supply depots there instead of somewhere else you get what I'm saying like so you can actually wall it off and actually hold hold the zerglings off for a little bit more for a little bit longer yeah and i you know the other thing about the games i've seen i and it disappoints me a little bit maybe this is because i'm a wood league player you know i'm um as a zerg i don't ladder very well apparently but upgrades yes yeah, so oh my god upgrades. so, I will, in, I will so tell intense you on that, the upgrades i will tell you that the game and I don't remember who it was offhand, but there was a game we played, or a game we commentated, where the Zerg player dropped two evolution chambers right at the corners of his, uh, right at the corners of his big ramp up to his expansion, up to his nat. And he did a very good job oh, of putting spine crawlers behind this him. This was Kingslayer. That, 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 that was Kingslayer. That was our person playing now. Was King Slayer. That was a yeah, sick... Yeah, that was Kingslayer. That was honestly ace. That was one of the sickest plays I've ever seen because honestly, those Evo chambers <clears throat> funnel any units that try to come into attack, other than flyers obviously, into... And those spine crawlers are just going to plink away. And if he had had any army there at the time that that happened, that would have just been just devastating for whoever tried to come in on him. I mean, that was that was a brilliant play, and I don't think it gets enough attention than it should. I mean, that was amazing. All right, heading into the match, what do you what do you guys think is going to win? Um, that that's a tough choice. We've seen J Money do some very interesting things with both drops and just going straight up, but we've also seen Kingslayer play extremely well with Ling Muta, so it's pretty hard to say. Although, recently it's been more favored towards Terran. Yes, um, is this a best of five or a best of three? I think we're still continuing on best of three. If Sick is in the clan chat and wants a uh, best of five, games, best of five. How many games are left? Best of five, best of five. All right, it's all awesome. best of five. So we're gonna see um, dueling. Uh, we're going to see some very interesting games, and uh, hopefully you guys are entertained by us commentating and doing stupid shit. And, Mostly and, and even though you know it's night skank, I'm still here. Don't don't forget about me. I never trust. He's up there too. Hello. I won't forget about <laughs> anybody. 
I'm I'm currently taking more of the camera than the uh, than the actual talking. Well, I mean, I'm recording. Yeah, he 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 needs to be our observer, so he. I is... am your star tail legend. Yes, right. you should. There Continue. you go. Continue. I'll just be the camera monkey. <laughs> All right, let's roll. So we have J Money losing uh, the pink in favor of the purple, and we're going to see Kingslayer hit it, hitting the pink. So this is going to be a very Deep interesting in matchup. All right. Uh, this is we're going to be on daybreak. Um, PVP pink a, versus purple coming up. TVZ. On daybreak. Oh no, it's P versus P. It's uh, pink versus purple. <laughs> It's a PvP King versus King versus purple, PC. son. We it's a battle ZVP. for the pink. It's a battle for the pink. That's what it is. It's a battle. I think for that's the what pink. this whole if tournament's been. King Slayer loses this game. He needs to give the cover. Pretty much, to Dr. actually. Yeah. Uh, Doctor 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 Money. Doctor J Money. DJ Money. Just call him DJ Money. All right. So DJ in the top M. left. So in the bottom right corner, at the majestic purple, uh, we have our Terran, DJ Money. Um, and in the top right corner, our pink Zerg. Let's see how he does. We haven't seen him play in just a few minutes. Heartland Hitman's Kingslayer. All right, so we're starting off. Um, more, it's it's a battle of the probes. That's what I gotta say. I'm really excited to see some probe harass come out of this. I would too, as there is no Protoss <laughs> to, uh, to offer that. There's no, there's no, there's <laughs> no OP exciting, Protoss. Right? There's no OP Toss, because uh, Toss, as everyone knows, has basically double life from their shields. So I think that if... Wait for it. Yep, there you go. I think if Kingslayer can hold off this point, I don't know how he's going to do it. I don't know if he's going to do any sort of thing with uh, Roach play or if he's gonna you know finally we're gonna finally see some swarm host action which I would love. oh I see an early I really I think see, uh... that swarm host would be amazing play against this Terran I think that we got oh we got a pool going down at 14 14 pool okay. we also got an early reactor and no racks at this point just yeah racks, that was like just now racks right there yeah, yeah like racks going racks, down so we're gonna see some something interesting here Hopefully we get to see, um... Yeah, Still got no gas up. for our Terran. Anything's up right now. Or, excuse me, Proton. No, our Terran's got gas. Yeah, Zerg. Zerg, 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 yes. Have... He's getting scouted. The uh, pool has got to have been seen. That drone should probably just go Yes, he has seen the... He, he's he not has gonna seen catch the, up. He's seen the pool, so... That is definitely There's no way that Zerg's problem. gonna catch up. That drone needs to go back to, you know, doing what he does best and mindlessly mining. We got gas going down oh. finally for our, our Jesus. Having a hell of a time tonight. Excuse me. Uh, there's also a second hatchery going down at the uh, natural of the Zerg. Yep, we've got a gnat going down. We got an orbital going down and, ooh, another reaper rush. We see one reaper in play being produced right now. Now, I'd like to point out, guys, and, that, uh, did you notice that Kingslayer actually didn't expand as fast as he usually does? It was a much later expand to his natural. Really? I did not yeah. notice that. I wish I'd had. I haven't seen Kingslayer play a lot of games today, well, so that's a, actually a very good point to, uh, very good point to bring up. Uh, looks like we got a spine crawler going down, uh, next to the main hatch. We still don't have lean speed. I wonder if we're going to get some serious roach play out of this guy. We got full saturation on the uh, extractor up here. And nothing we got on a, uh... at the gnat. Come on, Slayer. You got to do a little work at the gnat, son. But he's got a reaper we have, to uh, worry about. We have second reaper down for Terran. We have Stim going down. Uh, oh, that reaper and... could be in big trouble. Could be in very big trouble. I no, actually he there's only one Reaper and then he's going straight into Marine Marauder. Or potentially just Marine. I think um, that Reaper I don't see any Marauders. might get his life taken. Let's see about this. Nice split on the Bane or the Zerglings. Let's see if Oh, can he get this around? Nope. And he does. Nope. Nailed he it. He does. Completely nailed. Um We do have Stem coming. See. We got two Queens coming out. 
or one queen coming out, excuse me, at the Nat. Not sure about this. Uh, we have a uh, CC and a factory going down for our Terran player. Um, and he doesn't realize. Hopefully, he doesn't. He's also supply deep. He's also uh, supply blocked right now. Uh, he is indeed. For the moment. I, I just want to point out that, uh, the w one of the problems with Reapers, especially at lower leagues uh, where you don't have like 8,000 APM, like you know the average Korean, uh, all that microing of that Reaper, he had almost 600 minerals uh, just stockpiling up, and now he's missing depots. He's, he's got a late command center. He's got a late factory. So he's put himself actually pretty far behind, even if theoretically. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean this is something we discussed earlier. Whenever you have macro, or whenever you micro for lower leagues, um, you're sacrificing some sort of macro, whether that be uh, unit production, uh, depot production, or uh, basically any type of production facility. Um, so we're actually, so yeah, it makes sense. Kingslayer so, has uh, good macro at his main. Uh, he's, he's got full going sat for... on his uh, minerals. He has only got one drone working on the gas. I don't know what this guy's thinking, because he's got at his net two that are fully saturated. Fully saturated. He is definitely missing something. I don't know what he's thinking, but I Stim like. is done for I our think. Terran, and uh, two starports are almost are actually just done. We have um, combat shield going down. And we have our first two medevacs coming down too. So this is King actually Slayer's an extremely early medevac. Despite the fact that to... they are supply blocked right now, I think the, the fact that he's got static defenses down is something that I really haven't seen out of a whole lot of our Zerg players uh, terribly recently, especially not this early. This early is definitely when you need to get them. He's got two uh, Evo chambers two going Evo down chambers to block down, off. Yeah. To, also, uh, nice creep spread on the, on the some bottom. Of this. Yep, and he is doing some serious work on that creep spread. I tell you what, this queen, this royalty needs to take a sticky dump because we need to get that creep spread going. And honestly, if you oh, 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 we have a drop coming. Queen, the drop was spotted drop. by that overlord uh, if he was watching at the time. So he Don't might think be able he to was. Oh, no, there's, no, there, there's nothing to counter it. Able to see this Kingslayer is flying by. Getting flown oh, now by, he should be okay. Me, no. and now the drop yeah, is coming, he be okay he's now. got wings to hopefully clean this up. Yes, and he's... He really, yeah, immediate around. He's trying to micro again, Trips but he's... around by see, Kingslayer. He's, um, yeah, Kings... Um, right now, uh, Terran is potentially going to be supply blocked within the next cycle, production cycle. So he oh, really... Kingslayer has he, two drops to worry about. Oh my god, I didn't even realize this dropped the natural. Drop at the net, and that queen needs to take that medevac out quick. Can she do it? The queen and is not even targeting the medevac. The that's the worst up. part. Yeah, that's yeah, that's seriously bad. Almost as bad um, as no reactor on your starport. Right now. <laughs> yeah, no right. Oh yeah, I've said that the entire every single time I've seen him play, I've been saying repeatedly. Kingslayer, get, get those injects. Get Don't worry about that bailing nest, which has just gone down. Worry about those injects. You need the units. Yeah. Interestingly enough, um, for a game which requires a lot of Marines, uh, DJ Money is not. Is just getting another. Just getting his first reactor for his barracks. So it's rather late. Um, we see a one-one going down for um, DJ and a fourth barracks. Um, I do not, I... We've see. also got an empty bunker at DJ Money's okay. house. Let's see yes, if he and can a, fill that bunker and, up with some... You know, we've talked money. about bunkers. And just, uh, just yeah, recently it. saturated. Yeah, we really need to talk about the bunker. <laughs> um, he just got his fourth, up, his fourth gas up, and it's not saturated at all. We might see another drop play coming, though, um, because uh, there's three meta medevacs heading out. And they might be targeting the topmost expansion here. These creep tumors down here really need to do oh, something. We see These a, creep tumors we see need to expand hatch. that creep out because we have got DJ Money coming to scout this expansion. And he is going to, with one Marine, probably not do uh -oh. a whole lot against those turtlings. Dropping the man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Those are coming, coming down. out. Oh my god. Oh, 
Still no way. Oh, that medevac runs away. No hive. That medevac Wrong. runs away to fight another day. The Slayer does have layer tech. And he's also got a macro hatch too. He does. He has a fantastic. I mean, this is as a Zerg. I mean, this is just astonishing. I uh, wonder what he's going to do to help defend all these bases. I'm not seeing enough spine crawlers going down. I think a few more spine crawlers need to go down. I think maybe some baneling landmines could go down. I think that might be a very good possibility. I think he does have a spore crawler behind his mineral lines, which is fantastic to watch out for drops. We see, uh, we actually see widow mines being produced from our Terran, uh, perspective. And they're the two, um, Two, ar two armor upgrade is going down. We see another tech lab. We see a third command center. And um, we see that there are turrets on, on the field. There's, I believe, three? No, four. Four, four turrets uh, protecting the mineral line. And, Sounds uh, like a hell of a tell, sir. The... I think that what we need to see from our Zerg player, Kingslayer, right now is, and he wouldn't know to do it necessarily, but morph this overlord into an overseer and send that in with an oh, army because those widow mines are going to turn him into dust. They are going to no, juice there is, him there so fast. Is an overseer. I don't want to interrupt there you guys, but we do have another drop coming in, and this this has just been working so well right now in this game. Oh man! Yeah. Like, perfect. Is... Absolutely yep. perfect. Let's see if the mutilus can clean up. Oh. Uh, Clean up these medevacs potentially now, and, and they are yeah. Just take care of and finish the drop. You know, they Kingslayer know. really should think about putting some uh, spore crawlers right there if he wants to protect that base, because he keeps getting dropped almost consistently. Yeah, he's, and he's, he's got one, one right there. The now he does have uh, one. Uh, he's got a spore crawler in the back, but the spore crawler is in the wrong position. I think if he moved that over to. Uh, I wonder if he realizes he just built spine crawlers maybe instead right of spore. About there in between the spine crawlers, that would just be perfect. Oh, spore, right. He, he yeah, does he have got, a spore crawler have in the spores. back. He's got a spore crawler in the back of his gnat, and he's got a spore crawler in the back of his mane. And I think. No, he does not have a thing in the back. In fact, he does not even have production units. We have a, uh, we have an expansion. We have a third, I believe it's, a, yes, we have a third expansion right now from our Terran player, along with three turrets being built to protect the uh, mineral line. Um, in terms of, we also see um, plus two armor is almost done. Plus one armor is halfway, or plus uh, two infantry weapon is almost done. Um, and that's being that is being formed into a planetary, our newest expansion. Um, from the uh, Zerg we've got point a big view, engagement coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we might. It looks like they're running. No, no, they're yeah, running. Yeah, they're running they're scared. Running scared. That, that, fair enough. Fair enough. Excuse. Goddamn it, nightmare. Exciting battle. <laughs> that exciting Shit. battle does not well, happen. <laughs> My bad. No, I, I think that was a very good move to run back. I do want to point out the. Uh... Oh, it absolutely was. I think he would have lost a lot of those banelings, which I think he's going to use to uh, do some real serious work on the uh, front lines of the Terran uh, defense. I don't. I don't know, know about you guys, but I really don't like this Marauder play from uh, DJ uh, Money. Not see, sure how I feel about it. I'm, a fan uh, he's dropping them in. I'm not a fan I, uh, for for this game. I'm not a fan. Dropping them, but the absorb. I'm not a big fan, especially when you don't have the tanks with a mine. See, my thought is if you're gonna do something else with the marines, you see lings everywhere. You should probably be going for like hell that. Oh, and Kingslayer wraps that. Oh, drop we're up coming nice in. And proper. They're like, coming let's in. See if his we're gonna see a big engagement out here. That uh, those medevacs. One's gonna go down, two's gonna go down, maybe. And they're three. running into oh, the base. Oh, you can run are ready. Chases. <coughs> nope, no chase. Oh, no chase. yeah. Them right there. Huge that waste of stem. Oh, they're moving up. They're gonna go hit the expansion. Oh, he does have a yeah. Of and he's making more. Yeah, that planetary's not gonna stand a, stand a chance. And if you're all looking from bands. Dr. JM's perspective, he cannot see this rolling in. He cannot see this. This is going to be a surprise. Oh, oh and here we go. Oh, there's a attack. That's going to hurt. All right. In terms of that, is that that is that's a more sick than move on Kingslayer's part. Let's see if he can continue this. 
Get King Slayer those. just pulled ahead and over 10 food. He's all, he's 20 food now, actually. Mineral field depleted. Oh yeah, he's he just pulled ahead, ahead now. Food. He's certainly ahead enough. Let's see if he can get these mutalists out of there because that is going to be a big loss if he loses them. And he's got one flying in willy nilly that dies. As it uh, take a look do. at the factory down here. There are a lot of widow mines that are. Yeah, he really needs to get those out of there. Oh, you were right. Like There's if he like had those around his. Uh, this is just he has bad no rally point for that factory. There's no yeah, rally point. You know, if he had those rally. widow mines out by his expansion, he might have been able to survive it, maybe. And my, I just. Oh, we see another drop play here. He that would have might, definitely been able that to. Oh no, that, that drop play is going straight towards there. the mutalisks. Uh, oh, oh, and the mutas. Oh. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm stuck in. That um, is a sick move. That is a sick move. Just do a new. Get the drop. Oh no. Those are gone. All such gone. a large waste of units. Oh, that is such a sick move. He gets to harass a little bit. Yeah. He gets to ruin that drop. Oh, that is fantastic play by Kingslayer. Dr. J Mo needs to uh, do something serious to counter these mutas. I don't know if Vikings are the answer. I don't know what is the answer, but I think Vikings might be. Um, probably Marine in Marine Viking medevac. That's yeah, I what I would that do. I forget that Marines anyways. counter everything. The only thing to counter Marines yeah, is Marines. Uh, when you there are a lot of these players. They're just tearing through the base right now. Quickly. You know, especially since those turrets oh, don't have focus fire. You know, this might sound a little crazy, but but something You're I would like to see come guns. out from uh, Kingslayer is Broodlord, since he there are those turrets that he has to watch out for. But yes, Broodlords would be extremely effective. Yeah, Broodlord Swarm Host would be beautiful to see right now. Uh, is there, there is some very serious bit. work. It's just high tech. I she does have a don't fire know. Up, he so has all he needs is a greater fire. He is damn near mined out as main base. I think Kingslayer needs to really do some thinking about where he wants to move those drones and how he's going to protect them. I think he needs to make a third, excuse me, fifth. We see more. Base. Uh, there are more banelings being produced, which is quite frightening for uh, Terran players. Oh, the third has been retaken. <laughs> Uh, there are no tanks on on the field though. That's there, a lot yes, of it has been retaken, but there, but there are no tanks. That's the biggest problem. There's also expansion to a fourth right now. We've got an amazing expansion on the farthest by our far, on, player, on the Dr. on the Money. north. You okay, are I like to point out. Can you guys see the oversaturation on this I third? I believe that's 48 out of 20, 49 now. Yes, oh, we oh, yeah. Oh, King Slayer but... going back in for a little more taste. King Slayer going in for the sweet, kill sweet right now. Pink. He's uh, let's see if mopping he can up. Do oh, the lag. See if he can get those medevacs down, and he takes all three of them out. Oh my dear lord! <laughs> I believe. Oh, here's the GG. GG. Here's the GG. That is quite possibly a GG. Is it there GG? it is. There it is. And King Slayer takes After the first. JM. Oh, Kingslayer takes the first. Versus. Oh, and they're and they're sharing the love. All right, yeah, we have Kingslayer Ooh, taking the first. Uh, this is going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> Pause the recording.